Thank you, Gina. Good morning. Good Gina morning. Koo. Koo. Gina yes. Koo. Uh, thank you for saying yes. I know people are just knocking at our door, <laughs> the co-workers, to have their uh, story told. Right. So you were the one that were chosen that was chosen for this right. time. So thank you. You're and uh, we have a few minutes to uh, find out more about you, whatever you want to tell us, okay. and to find out how you got here. Okay. So um, you've been in various positions yes. around this campus, yes, at I least have. since, when did you come here? I started in 08 um, as a part-time secretary in human resources. Q that's what yes. I remember you. Under yeah. Lee Martin. Lee Martin right. was the one that hired me. Um, and then Connie Evans retired. Right. So I bumped up to executive assistant in full-time and took over more responsibilities like payroll and mm -hmm. you know, helping with that kind of stuff with the coworkers. And I still did a lot of the secretarial duties. And then in 2014, I moved up to the mail. We merged the mailroom. So you were in support. HR from 08 till 14? Till 14, yes. So 14, yep, they decided to merge the mailroom with office support upstairs on second floor, Madden. And I took over Kathy Arard's position and became mailroom. So wasn't the mailroom someplace else? Mailroom was in the basement of Madden. Correct. Yes. Right. Right. Okay. I came in '09. I just remember you always. You've been here since yes. I've been here. And yeah. You've so had... it'll be ten years in June. Actually, June is when I started. Very good. So, yeah. What? Uh, how did you hear about? campus. How did you hear about this complex? Honestly, it's kind Honestly. of a, fun, a funny story. I didn't know about this complex. Where did you live? Where do you I've live? lived here in Adrian my whole life. Born and raised in Adrian. Actually, the house I grew up in is like two minutes from here. The house I currently live in is like two minutes from here and had no place this existed at all. I was working at the YMCA. You never came down this street? I did, I guess, I thought yeah. it was part of the college like everybody else okay. does, you know, just didn't realize, you know, the sisters were here. So um, I was working at the Y in 08, okay. part-time, and I was also working for Adrian Public Schools, Head Start part-time. And um, my boss at the Y, her knee, or her aunt, sorry, her aunt, Aline Smith, worked in human oh, resources. Aline. Yes, yes, yes. And Aline emailed her the part-time secretary job description and said, do you know anybody that would be interested? So her niece told me about it and I said, yeah, that would be wonderful. You know, because I was, I was trying to get into a full-time position. It was very hard to work two part-time jobs with oh, right. children and right. husband. And, right. and even though both places were very compatible with me and they were understanding, it was just very hard. So I applied for it and I didn't get it and the person they hired didn't work out and three months later Aline bugged her niece again and her niece is actually Barbette Spratt's daughter. I might mention Barbette. that. Barbette. <laughs> Barbette. Um, but uh, and said is Gina still interested and I said sure so reapplied and that's when I got it. So I came here you know had the interview got right. the job and I was telling my mom about it and my mom said, I went to the academy when I was a kid. You are kidding. I didn't know that because she went to um, St. Mary's, the Catholic Central High School that was at St. Mary's Church. Correct. So I didn't realize she'd gone to the academy and then went to St. Mary's. So I, I was like, never knew this about you, never knew the place existed. And, and she, she never said, talked about the sisters? Never, yeah. And she, and she, the funnier part was she said, I thought about becoming a nun. Oh, so I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> so and since <laughs> Thank then, God you didn't. <laughs> right. And since then, um, gosh, it was probably a couple years ago, my car broke down. My husband works out of town and had, you had to get the kids to school. I had to get to work. And the closest person I thought of to get me to work was my mom. So I called my mom up. I said, can you come get me and let's take the girls to school? And oh, yeah, sure. So we pull up in the circle of Madden, and she goes, there used to be an office right there, because I sat in the office one day when I was sick and I had to go home. And I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> so, yes, no clue it Unbelievable. existed. Uh -huh. And it was even part of my family, so. And your bones, and your yes. genes. Yeah. Isn't that uh, something? Yeah. So you came in 2008, and uh, we are so lucky to still 
have you. Thank you. And you do a great job. You're always just very happy and obliging, no matter <laughs> whatever we ask for in that uh, in that area. What um, what do you like best about the campus? What's the most rewarding oh, I like or the best? Honestly, not I'd the have best, to say but what's important to you? Yeah. What's important to me and, and, and probably like the best is the sisters and uh -huh. the inviting, welcoming feeling that you have when you come here. We've had, I've had conversations with my, my coworker friends that I eat lunch with. I've had conversations outside of here and people say, you know, why are you there? Why do you right. like it? And I said, just that welcoming, you know, you feel comfortable, you feel safe. And I said, I grew up in church, you know, and I, and to have, to, to come to work and know that the sisters are praying for you every day right, and asking right, how right. you are, you can't get that at most jobs, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. you can't get that at a factory or Walmart or, you know, mm -hmm. wherever you can't get that at most jobs. Mm -hmm. And just that, that safe, secure, you know, welcoming feeling. I've even, I've even had people, you know, try to take me from here and say, Gina, come work for us. And I'm like, nope. Not doing it, not leaving. Even if it's better hours? Well, or I haven't better, actually yeah. been offered a job, yeah. but, you know, more yeah. the come work with yeah. us. So. Mm -hmm. so your present position is in office support, and you take care of all the mail. Yes. What is so exciting about taking care of all the mail? <laughs> <male? laughs> well, there's generally a challenge at least once a week or more than once a week. I had no idea what I was getting myself into when I took this position because I didn't know anything about mail other than, you know, put a stamp on my letter and put it in the box. Any more than I know anything about <laughs> cars. <laughs> right. <laughs> so I, um, but I went for it. I, I like, I'm a hands-on person. I like learning my jobs. I like, Good you know, you. Googling it, you know, yeah. taking little trainings, what, whatever I have to do to figure out my job. And, um, but yeah, there's there's challenges, you know. People will say, Gina, can you get this out? And I want it FedEx or I want it right. whatever. Yesterday FedEx wasn't working. I had to call them and I was getting frustrated. You know, there's always there's always a challenge. Yeah. So I guess the challenges kind of make it exciting uh -huh. and we learn something different. You know, I learned something about my meter machine yesterday that I I've been up there for what, three years now. I didn't know. I shouldn't do on my meter <laughs> machine, you know, just, just various things that, you know, it's, you know, and the questions I get and the question, if I don't know it, I, I look it up, I Google it. I, I have you. the post office here in Adrian is wonderful. Good. I have a contact down there Good. that, you know, if I have, I, I generally email her so that I have that reference that I can look back at. That networking but, is so yes, important. I don't care yes, what our position is. Yes. So, yeah. one way or the other, it gets figured out. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, if you could uh, make a strong suggestion or make a suggestion to change something here on campus, Ooh. not just your position, change Anything. something on campus. Wow. What is it that you would, uh, you're very involved in committees and yes. everything too, which is yes, very I am. nice of you. Wow. Hmm. More communication, I guess. I mean, communication is such a strong, I know, strong, I know. you know, and we have good communication, just... Always need more. Always need more and stick to it and, yeah, I don't know other than that. I don't have, I don't have any complaints. <laughs> no complaints. Or what would you like to let go of in your job, your position? What would I like to let go of in my job? Oh, man. And we'll tell your supervisor not to watch this video. <laughs> She knows where I'm at. Jeanette, uh -huh. um, nothing really, because you know, like I said, I like the challenge. I yeah, like learning, good. and then I'm, I'm back up for office support. So you know, when we have, we Always. get bombarded with a big project, or you know, I have some downtime and I can work on little projects. You know, so I've learned printing and a little bit of graphic design mm -hmm. and, you know, all these various things and all the ins and outs of our copiers and our printers and all that fun stuff. And we've incorporated some of it into the mailroom also to make mm -hmm. mailroom processes easier. And no. One thing that the sisters always like to, as we're doing the co-workers, would you be willing to share anything about your family? Sure. You know, your kids yes. and, and yes. yeah, it's just another side of you that yeah. we don't get to yeah. know about. Um, I have been married to my husband for almost 18 years. It'll be 18 wow. years in August. Um, we actually have known each other our whole entire life. 
we grew up at church together. And so I already knew his siblings and his parents and his grandparents. And that was one of my, you know, wishes, I guess, of I didn't want to do that whole meet the family thing. You know, like I was like, no, I don't want to do it. And, you know, that was just in the back of my head. And I, we dated in high school and it was bad timing for both of us. We were both going through some major personal issues and we didn't just, we didn't mesh. And um, five years later, he came home for Easter. And I say came home because they had moved to Celine at one point. Okay. And Adrian is really home. And um, came home for Easter to be with his grandparents. His grandparents and I went to the same church. And that's where I knew him originally from. And he uh, he started talking to me, and I said no because it didn't work the first time. Well, God had different plans, <laughs> and so we uh, we hung out that week. And I said, friends, just friends. And but that didn't happen. It kept on going, and we started dating. And pretty much a year later, okay. we were engaged and married. And um, so then we have two crazy wonderful little girls right, right. Uh -huh. um natalie's 11 she just turned 11 at the beginning of a year and she is definitely preteen. <laughs> um so we're enjoying all the you know adventures of that you thought it was bad when they were in diapers huh mm -hmm. just wait the fun well, hasn't yeah, begun exactly yeah. she um she loves art she's a little artist and little crafter like me she likes to do crafts like me but she's one of those kind of, she touches everything and she's good at it. So I don't know what her, what her thing will be, but, um, and she's, she's smart. She's a smart, smart kid. And then Leia is nine. Oh, yeah. She also turned nine at the beginning of the year. And, um, she's my little fashion girl. She likes fashion and she likes to go shopping and she does some crafts with me, but she's my, she's my girly girl. And she, she's she, she's good at school too. So I keep telling her that she needs to uh, help with like the drama, you know, team or something. So I've taken her to a couple school plays to kind of help her understand. You know, you could do the makeup or you could do their hair. Does it interest her? <clears throat> I think it does. She loves to do my hair and you know do my nails. She did a nice job this morning. <laughs> <laughs> she. Uh, so I think it does. I think it interests her. She's also a very good singer, though. She has a voice on her, and my mother-in-law actually almost went professional singing. And the first so. time my mother-in-law heard her, she was like, oh, my word. And I said, I know. But I'm trying not to push it because I don't want to ruin it. I want it to be something that she finds yeah, on her own. Yeah, and smart mother. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we, we watch The Voice together, and, you know, so I push that on that end. But So we'll see. We'll see there. See, she's in third grade and Natalie's in fifth grade. So, where do you all go on vacation? We are campers. Oh, we dear. like to go camping. <laughs> I like to camp at the holiday. <laughs> <laughs> we, um, We've honestly never really gone on a Holiday Inn type. We just, we, we've talked about it, you know, as the kids get older that we should, you know, uh -huh. go different places. But, um, uh -huh. We go camping every mm -hmm. summer at least once for a big trip. We used to do two trips, and we have a pop-up camper. We used to tent it. We still have the tents, so we we like to you know have the bonfires and cookout and all that good stuff. That's so, good. well, you're a lot of fun. So uh, <laughs> I'm sure the family is a lot of fun. Oh yes. Once they're in bed and quiet and oh, everything. Oh yes. But Gina, anyway, thank you. You are just you're as I mentioned before. It's a delight to go into the office support. I mean, everyone in there is always happy and grateful, and nothing is, is uh, well, why is she asking me that? <laughs> you know, it, we're greeted with, okay, yeah, right. I'd be glad to help you, or I'd be glad to do that for you. That's right. what we like to hear. Right. Oh, I'll, right. be do, I'll be glad to right. do that. So thank you. You bring a welcome. sense of joy to welcome. this campus. So stay. <laughs> thank, you. thank you. Thank <laughs> you. Thank you.